Hello and welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. Now, as you know, I've done a few videos in the past about oil tanker stocks and the price of oil. So I think, considering what's happened today, we should do an update. Now, a few people have been asking me why tanker stocks have just plummeted. And unless I'm sure you know already that the oil prices have jumped again today, 7.75%, or oh, $1.58, higher at $21.97. Now, the thing is, this is because at least Spain, Nigeria and India, along with Ohio and some other US states, allowing people to go back to work um, and apparently when you consider that along with Saudi Arabia, Russia and other countries agreeing to slash output which would come into effect soon they think that things will start to get better and when oil price goes up then, of course, what happens? The uh, oil tanker stocks go down. Now, I believe there was something here. Oh no, that's better. So, uh, apparently, the uh, there was a. I saw an article saying that uh, there's a fleet of 28 Saudi oil tankers uh, which could send those, the oil prices crashing again that were apparently filled with oil. Now, these these are just rumours, so we don't know whether they're right or not. What we do know is oil prices are up, so oil tanker stocks are down. Now, what we do with that is we look at things like North Nordic American tanker. When you think it's almost half the price it was. Of the other week when it was at nine dollars a share it's now back to where it was before all the hype I think as I said when it went to seven eight dollars uh, it was on the one to go into because it's very volatile going up and it'll be the same going down as soon as this news out. If you look at DHT, it's dropped, but not as much. It was uh, $7, and it was hanging around about $7, between $7.5 and $7.00. And now it's dropped. It went up a bit yesterday, and now it's dropped again. And the same with Frontline. Frontline was around about nine dollars to nine forty-five, and now it's dropped to eight forty-eight. Now, the reason why I advised going for Frontline and DHT over Nordic American tankers is because firstly if something like this happens they're still more likely to pay a dividend and that's why most people got into this secondly they are a more secure company so if you have to hold it for longer to get your money back there's more chance you will get your money back 
we are playing short term game on this but if you have to hold it long term to make your profit then you want to have the better company the problem with the ones that get over inflated and uh, with the hype is once the bad news comes it, it goes down and sometimes it can go go down lower than it was before the hype uh, if you find anything in this video informative please hit the like button if you want to see more videos please hit the subscribe or bell notification I want to see how high I can go okay. I reported someone who was spamming other viewers and now my subscribers have gone down by one so I'd like to get at least another subscriber back for doing the right thing now with this you can see by the amount of people who is in Nordic that they were selling off to protect their investment when in reality the reason they got in was for the dividend and they haven't even waited for the dividend day now it's your decision you can jump out limit your loss or you can wait and see if oil prices drop again and if the price of this stock goes up again me i'm staying in i actually doubled my investment when the price went down but the decision is up to you anyway have a nice evening stay safe stay investing stay savvy and good luck